Hello Divine Souls, I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So I'm going to start off by pulling a couple of Oracle cards. And then we'll clarify. Your first card is SOS. So there's something going on with your person. For some of you, there's a health issue. This person could be hospitalized. And then for others of you, I feel like it's mental stress. This person needs to take a time out. Yeah, exactly. You have last straw. On here, it says breaking point, And that's what I was picking up. They're going through some kind of mental anguish. And they're feeling overwhelmed. Let's get some more information. Your next card is light bulb moment. So this is all about a sudden realization. This is awareness. So whatever this SOS is, is tied to this light bulb moment. You also have petty. So right off the bat, I'm getting karmic vibes. This karmic is being petty about something. Your divine masculine has had it. He's at his breaking point and this is the last straw. He's having a light bulb moment. I don't know what she did, but we're going to go deeper in a minute. Oh, okay. You have receipts. So your divine masculine found some shit out about this karmic. Something was exposed and he's got the evidence. You also have numbing. This karmic is self-medicating. She's drinking away her problems or distracting herself with substances. And the reason why she's numbing is because the divine masculine is gone. <laughs> yeah, your next card is zero fucks. Your divine masculine gives zero fucks about this karmic. He's unfazed. He's unbothered. He's carefree. And he dismissed her. And now she's salty about the situation. That's your next card. She's feeling very bitter. That's why she's acting petty. Let's clarify SOS. What is going on with the Divine Masculine and this karmic? You guys are not going to believe what card came out. The Empress. Your Divine Masculine and this karmic is in distress about you. The reason why you're divine masculine is all up in his head about you is because he wants you back. And the reason why the karmic is all up in her head about you is because the divine masculine wants you back. And she's pissed and being petty. So the SOS card is mainly about mental anguish. They're both thinking about you, divine feminines. That is crazy. Clarify last straw. What did this karmic do? Oh my gosh, y'all. What clarified the last straw is the emperor, the divine masculine. He's had it. And the card after that is the three of cups. So the last straw is that he found out this karmic was cheating. Because on the bottom of the deck, you have the ten of swords. There was some kind of betrayal. Yeah, you have the king of wands. So I'm hearing what goes around comes around. What he did to you, divine feminines, he got back ten times worse. Their relationship right now is in upheaval. You have the Ten of Cups in the reversed, followed by the Nine of Swords. He does not want to have anything else to do with her. She's tossing and turning. She hasn't slept in days, you guys. She's overthinking this situation. Yeah, that's why that SOS card was the first card. Yup, your Divine Masculine is gone with the Eight of Cups. Because this karmic was keeping secrets with the moon. Your Divine Masculine got played by this karmic. In the beginning, he was gung-ho about this karmic. He dropped you like a hot potato to go be with this karmic, thinking that the grass was greener. And he got bamboozled. But this was his lesson with the Harfont. Now he's realizing that you're his true love with the Ace of Cups. But I feel like with this Harfont and the Ace of Cups, not only is she obsessed with the Divine Masculine, she thought she was going to have the Ten of Cups with him. But as you can see, it's in the reversed. With the Empress being the first card to come out, she knows that the Divine Masculine's heart is truly with you. This karmic was offering the Divine Masculine a pipe dream. That's the real reason why he left. But it was all an illusion with the moon. That's why the Ten of Swords is here. There was some sneaking and creeping going on. You have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands. This karmic was lying about being in another relationship. But you know what I'm getting, Divine Feminines? They were both cheating on each other. But there was a commitment here of some sort. This commitment could have been between you and your divine masculine and this karmic sabotaged it. There's an ending here with the world. 
And I really feel like this world is your energy, Divine Feminines. You have closed this cycle out. That's why your Divine Masculine is having a light bulb moment. Clarify light bulb moment. Oh my gosh, you have the tower. Exactly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shit came crumbling down. Shit hit the fan. And that's why the world is here. You are done. And he's also seeing through this karmic's petty ass ways. Clarify, petty. You have the seven of cups. Okay, so I see what's going on here. Your divine masculine told this karmic that he wasn't happy and that he was leaving. He found out that she had options as well with the seven of cups. So in her petty ass mind, she thought that she was going to get back at the divine masculine by dating around. But that didn't sit well with him. This was the last straw. But to be honest with you, they were both very deceitful. And now he's having flashbacks on your connection. Realizing he missed this opportunity with you. He's having flashbacks because he's realizing with the light bulb moment in the tower that the Empress and the Two of Cups is a divine connection. The Two of Cups and the Four of Cups is the Six of Cups. He wants to return. He wants to reconcile. He wants to mend things. But he fears it's over with, with the Six of Swords. With this numbing, this could also be your divine masculine's energy. He's drinking a lot. And he's distracting himself with substances. Clarify numbing. You have the sun. What did I tell you guys? He wants to reconcile. That's all he's thinking about. Clarify zero fucks. You have the three of swords. This is how he's feeling. Okay, so he feels like you don't give zero fucks anymore. And for some of you, you don't. And coming to think of it, Divine Feminines, this last straw is your energy. You're in the fool's energy. You're wanting a new beginning elsewhere for some of you. Your Divine Masculine took a risk on this relationship. He was very childish. And he gambled with your heart, Three of Swords. And even though many of you have forgiven your Divine Masculines, this is something that you wouldn't want to relive because the pain was so deep. You're in a good place, in a good space right now. But with the death card... You're moving on to karma waters. You have a lot of cards on endings here. You have the eight of cups. You have the world. You have the tower. You have the three of swords. You have the six of swords. And you have the death card. I'm seeing a lot of hurt and pain and a lot of anguish. You're hurt. Your divine masculine is hurt. And this karmic is hurt. And that's why your last card was salty. Because everybody in this situation is salty. You are feeling rejected. You're feeling wronged. And everybody is bitter. Now what I will say divine feminines is that you have done a lot of healing and a lot of growing. And you're on a different vibration. You being salty was in the past. You have come a long way on this twin flame journey. And you have definitely evolved. And so now I feel like this salty card is the divine masculine and the karmic. The divine masculine is salty because he can't be with you. He's salty because he knows that he betrayed you. And he's also salty because you have turned your back. And this karmic is salty because she can't have the divine masculine. That situation was a temporary good time. And now that the tower has hit their connection and everything about this karmic has been illuminated, he's realizing he wants more out of life. He's realizing he doesn't want to be on this path any longer. That's why you have the eight of cups. Their bond has fizzled out. And now he's dead set on getting you back with the six of wands. Let's take a look to see what this karmic is doing right now. Because I really feel like the reason why she's being petty is because she's up to things. You have hands off. So she's still trying to be territorial with the Divine Masculine. And she's also stalking him. She's very possessive. And she's not going to give up easily. You also have hung up. Yeah, she's fixated on the Divine Masculine. She's obsessed. She's still attached. And her focus is getting him back. Your next card is trolling. So just like I said, she's not going to be giving up so easily. And she's going to be causing drama. Let's get one more. You have cock blocking. Yeah, third party interference. She's trying to block your divine masculine from coming to you. She knows that he wants to devour you sexually. And she's going to try everything to block it. So in the extended reading... We're going to take a closer look at this SOS and light bulb moment. We're going to see why is your divine masculine going through this epiphany and what really happened. 
We're also going to take a look to see what is this karmic state of mind right now when it comes to you and your divine masculine's relationship because she is being very, very petty. What does your divine masculine want to happen with your connection right now? And is he really coming back because he's sorry? Or is he coming back because he got caught? The extended readings are for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you're free to check it out. All the information is in the description box below. But before we go, let's pull a few cards on your divine masculine. How is he thinking about this connection right now? You have all the feels. So he feels like this is a soulmate connection and he's still deeply in love with you. Your next card is giving heart. So this is all about showing love, putting in the work, taking action. So he wants to open his heart to you. You also have keeping it 100. So he wants to come in with truth and honesty and he just wants to be transparent with his intentions. Let's get one more. And the last card is vacation. So he wants to take you on a romantic getaway, Divine Feminines. He wants to spend time with you and he wants to enjoy you. So for some of you, your Divine Masculine is planning a romantic trip. And I'm also hearing a romantic dinner. He's definitely got something up his sleeves. All right, you guys, let's take this to the extended. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.